Hi boys and girls. In this video we're going to talk about coloring in our snowman. So last week we drew our snowman. If you worked on a paper that is colored, you can use, uh, you can color in the actual snowman part if you've got a white crayon. And I don't think it shows up very well on the camera. When we color in, we like to make sure that we stay in the lines and that when we color, we don't leave any spots. Now, of course, uh, this is a white crayon. I always say we don't leave white spots, um, but I'm coloring in white today. So we wanna make sure that we don't leave any spots that are the color of the background. And I'm going to time lapse my coloring. So I'm gonna stop talking and you're gonna see it cut me coloring really fast. I want you to take your time to color in, even though I'm time lapsing this video so that your video is not super long to watch. Okay, so I colored in my whole snowman. I took my time, even though it was really fast for you because it was time-lapsed. And I'm gonna start coloring in my details. This is where staying in those lines is super duper important. So please try your best to stay in the lines. probably want to color in is the very bottom because our snowman would be sitting in snow. It is okay if I break my, cr my crayon because all I have to do is peel my paper back and it's like I've got a brand new crayon. Not as pointy, but it works. So that's it. If I want to, I can add some snowflakes. Usually I would do these in white, but I want to make sure that they show up on the camera nicely for you. To do a snowflake, I simply make an X and I put a line through it. An X with a line through it. That's because snowflakes are divided into six sections. 
So there's my cool snowflakes. You could do yours in white if you don't want to do snowflakes. You don't have to. I think they kind of dress up our little snowmen and look super cute. So that's it. I hope that you had fun doing this project and we will see you in the next video. Bye!